man connected to the wire gas has just returned home after spending weeks in war-torn Ukraine. Just today, a UN inspection team arrived on a mission to prevent a nuclear disaster at Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Fighting between Russia and Ukraine has prompted the shutdown of one reactor and underscored the urgency of the task. A radiation leak or reactor meltdown could be a disaster for the European continent. The UN team hopes to get a pretty good idea of what's going on there after they inspect the site. Outside the plant, the country continues to be attacked by Russian forces. Tonight, WDHN's Aaron Dixon speaks to a man just back from there on a mission to help the people and provide relief. Stephen Rollins started to see videos and images from the war in Ukraine, so he decided to pack up his things and fly over there and help with the relief efforts. After building up troops to invade Ukraine, the Russian troops officially invaded on February 24th. And now, more than six months later, the war continues and the need for relief rises. One of the first images that I saw was of a, a little five-year-old girl who uh, had been shot and thrown into a, a shallow grave and it just ripped my heart out. Rollins then arrived in Ukraine and teamed up with Lviv Central Baptist Church, which is one of the groups that is boxing up goods and services, loading them up in the vans and sending the vans into the war-torn areas. As Rollins saw Levy Central Baptist Church as a group, he could help out. Been trying to help help them uh, both locally there in Ukraine with uh, services and also trying to help generate uh, donations, revenue for them to keep further assisting those in desperate need. Rollins also was put in contact with Ukrainian President Zelensky's United 24 team which is a group formed by the Ukrainian government to help provide relief, but also help rebuild, which Rollins says he visited in March, and now he is seeing the same areas already rebuilding. I get to see firsthand schools, other structures being rebuilt. During his most recent visit to Ukraine, Rollins got in contact with the First One In program, which is a group of ex-military personnel who work to get innocent women and children out of the danger zone and into a place of safety. The group has been helped by Delta Airlines, who is helping provide the flights and items needed to accomplish their missions. This organization is put themselves in harm's way themselves to save lives. Now, Rollins is back in the United States for a couple of weeks, but plans on returning to Ukraine to help. In Ozark, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.